So it's been a week here at the shop and things have been going extremely smooth. We couldn't have asked for a better first week. We've got a couple things being sold off the shelves, which is great, and a couple custom appointments that have been scheduled. And actually, one of them's here right now. Can I offer you some complimentary coffee or hot chocolate today? No. Okay. Have a good evening. So for the Erie Light Up Night, what we're going to do to drive some traffic is offer some free coffee, hot chocolate. Um, we'll see what else we can get in to offer people, hopefully to bring them down from where all the lights are to us. We'll see if it works, but it's worth a shot. This is like a town. You don't remember. Oh, oh, hey. Hi. Welcome to Primo. You want some coffee or something? You got hot chocolate. Um, really, you can have any of it. So aside from all the fun tailoring consultations we get to do for custom work and all of that, like you just saw, the bread and butter of our operations is still alterations. And I have the numbers for what the exact number is, but I'm going to try and make my own graph to show an overlay on the screen because I don't want to give away any customer information. Um, but I was actually pretty surprised. I thought moving from our other location where we were like 99% alteration sales down to this spot that we were gonna be a little bit more balanced, but it's probably only gone down to about 90% um, of our revenue. So this year, a big push is to get the retail and the custom to kind of get to more of a 50-50 split, um, not compromising how much we're making in tailoring, um, but being right on the street, we have people coming in like crazy. And actually, one of the biggest revenue earners for us with the tailoring itself is the rush jobs. We've been noticing that we charge anywhere from $20 to $40 on top of any alteration costs, um, depending on how quick it needs to be done and what the variation of the job is. Um, but that's been one of the main keys of keeping things kind of running and boosting up the monthly revenue. Um, so that was something interesting that we found, but just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on how the business is doing and where our numbers are. For all you out there who are also starting tailor shop men's clothing stores. Um, in small towns. So there we are. Let's get on to the next section. So we finally got the suit for our custom order that we did and this is one of the first ones in the shop. So we're super excited. We've done them before for other customers at our other location, but we've got try-ons. It's a whole different system. And quite honestly, this customer is a pretty awkward body shape. And I hate to say it, but you look at certain things like his shoulders are really like pinched up and weird and like he's got a bit of a stomach and I think he's got some early onset scoliosis going on. So we had a lot of working around with everything. So yeah, no offense to him. Hopefully he doesn't watch this, but yeah. So we're gonna wait for him. He'll be here any minute and we should be good. I don't think there's anything we need to add on this. Do we? 
Oh, hey, Pat, what's up, my guy? We got your suit right here. We're just talking about you. Um, so this is the suit that we got in and that we created. This is a really nice, deep blue. If you come close, take a look at the lining and how well that pairs with the blue fabric. You got that in focus there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. We've got pretty standard in terms of all the pockets. We did go a little bit wider with the lapel because we didn't want anything too narrow. What do you think about it? I think it looks sharp. Beautiful. Well, we're going to have you try it on, make sure there's no fine tuning we have to do, um, and we'll go from there. Boom! Nice! <laughs> <laughs> the shoulders, that's the most important. And I think we have that pretty well nailed. We're going to open up these vents, give you a little room there. I like how the leg profile is. How do you feel on the waist of the pants? Feels set. Pretty good. Pretty good. What are you going to be wearing this suit for? Uh, work. Oh. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Okay. Do you mind telling the camera how you feel about your experience here at Primo? Uh, it was great. No, you gotta say more. Uh, everything ran smoothly. My mom bought me the suit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a day here at Primo. You were with us while we took an order. We put in some other orders in between the time it took to get the other one. We talked about alterations. And as you saw in the last clip, even though we fit it perfectly, it just goes to show what good tailoring can do to any really weird body type. What are you still doing here? <laughs>